okay hi how are you so hope you are doing well for the seed exam and your preparation is going fine and i'm here to give you a video guide on how to organize time as well as how to um, plan for the seed exam during the, during the exam so uh, this is a guide on what to do during exam what to take and how to deal with questions so first thing first so the, my first suggestion for you is to stay cool mean uh, you need to be relaxed because nobody is going to check you nobody is going to come and verify your paper during exam so you need to be confident you need to be relaxed and you need to stay calm so this will uh, this will give you more positive um, you know positive environment and uh, this will help you uh, quickly come up with questions uh, answers so stay cool and uh, don't get uh, tensed on all the times and uh, before going to the part a part a uh, discussion let me briefly describe about the part b section because it's uh, some kind of importance and uh, so coming to the part b you just start with the 50 marks question don't go for the mandatory question uh, start with the 50 marks question because 50 marks question uh, uh, will take time and uh, if you go if you attempt the uh, remaining mandatory questions uh, maybe you you might not be getting um, time for the 50 marks so better start with the 50 marks question and uh, first thing you have to do is uh, uh, for the 50 marks question you will be given uh, two or three options so you need to go through all the options you need to check all the questions and check which question is best for you you mean you have to read the question understand the question and uh, check which question is suited more suited to you because some people may like product design some people may like visual communication or logo designing so it's up to you you have to check all the questions and you need to uh, take one particular uh, uh, question that is easiest that is more convenient uh, to you and um, after selecting the question you again have to read the question uh, because understanding the question is the main um, one of the main important thing uh, for you to uh, to get more marks because uh, reading the question itself gives you an idea and an overall picture of what has to be done what has to be covered in your design and um, uh, you know yesterday also I received a mail for the uh, review section uh, the students are still making the mistake of not understanding the question and uh, doing something else what uh, of what is not asked so it's better if you go and understand the question properly and then do attempt later right and uh, before attempting uh, you have to think you have to plan for that and uh, i mean what to include what factors to derive and uh, uh, what is to be shown so after having a clear broad picture then only jump for attempting without uh, moving straight to the question okay and you have to take care of the evaluation criteria also because um, you know every question will have some unique evaluation criteria some question will ask for line quality or some will ask for design idea so you just to go through what what they are uh, how they are evaluating on what basis so based on these things based on these factors you prepare your design accordingly you plan your uh, sketches accordingly okay and most importantly you have to prepare the um, as far as possible you have to prepare the rough uh, and and plain sketching so uh, it will give a clear idea and of course um, if say your sketch went wrong i mean your design went wrong then it will be easy for you to uh, rearrange you mean to erase and to do new sketch so let's go for rough sketches and plain sketches in the uh, in the very initial part to get the idea and most importantly give last preference to shading i have been telling right from the beginning uh, the moment i started my blog because shading you know in the uh, spending time at the right moment at the moment you st uh, start started a sketching is not a good idea actually so you have to make the overall uh, structure of the design say uh, overall sets of the human then if you feel like that overall shape and propor uh, proportions are all fine and uh, if you feel like there is no changes to be made then okay you can go for shading uh, provided you have time so what you have to uh, notice you have to keep the uh, shading section in the last last part of the section and uh, yeah for 50 marks question you can spare uh, say 45 or 50 minutes of the two hour uh, two hour section that you will be getting so plan accordingly 45 minutes and yeah 
for the first five or ten minutes you can spare the time just to create a plan uh, and uh, just to derive what to be done so five minutes for planning and uh, the rest 40 minutes say 30 minutes for the overall sketch and, uh, or, and uh, all the derivations and the uh, last five, uh, five or ten minutes for shading works if, if required all else shading is not required uh, after you after you complete all this part B, I mean 50 marks question, then just move to the mandatory section. Mandatory in the sense 15 marks and again 15 and 20. Maybe the question marks size may vary, but it's uh, almost uh, predictable. Okay. So in that also, you have to give large preference to uh, you mean sketching work because you know it's really not a good deal to uh, start with sketching. Last year. I, I, I did the mistake, I attempted just to verify this. So I, I started sketching in the very beginning without uh, without attempting 50 mass question and it took me one hour 50 minutes. It's, it's really, uh, you know, disgusting. I mean, uh, I, uh, after that I, I, was, uh, I was prodded only with 45 minutes for the rest of the things like 50 mass question and then again 15, 15, one, five, 15 marks uh, uh, creative question, 20 mass question. So I was really disappointed because uh, uh, for the single sketch, uh, for the single sketch, I spent uh, um, so much time, and uh, you know, it didn't give me much score also. So it's not a, I I don't think it's a good idea to start with sketching, uh, sketch question. So give it a last preference, the last chance, and uh, you first you go for 50 marks um, uh, design part, and then to create it, then finally sketching part, right? Okay, yeah. And uh, you have to note the marks, uh, which question carries how, mark, how many marks, I mean uh, what, what marks. So accordingly you have to assign time. So say 15 minutes, 20 minutes or something like that. So noting marks and then assigning time is, uh, is a very good thing. And uh, you know, don't use many instruments, it's not a, you know, practical, you know, you will be, you may carry many, as many as you can. You may also carry colors, uh, whatever it is. but. It, it's not it's not a good idea to use not uh, something like seven or eight or pencils different grades or something just stick with the excuse me okay just stick with four or five um, you know instruments like um, uh, two H two B or four B and uh, H B so this uh, this this uh, I mean this same pencil sizes are quite enough to uh, cover all those sketches and everything right so that's end of our part B uh, discussion now let's move to the part A discussion part A you know this year they have slightly changed the pattern some questions will have negative marking and uh, the rest will have uh, very few uh, won't have negative marking so uh, and the thing is you don't have to answer all the questions like if say they give uh, 50, 50 questions then you don't have to answer all the 50 questions because nobody will be um, you know master in everything uh, maybe somebody will be good at something maybe they will not be good at it so don't expect to answer all the questions it's, it's also not a good idea because it's, it does have a negative marking and if you answer all the questions maybe the probability of getting less marks will be more so uh, just make a plan just try to answer uh, but not less than 40 more questions Try to answer 40 to 45 questions, something like that, so that you will be on safer side without at, without going for negative questions. And um, uh, yeah, for the questions which are which don't have any negative marking, you can uh, you can answer all of them uh, freely with any with your own assumption or something. And uh, for those which are having uh, negative marking, you be careful. You think twice, say twice, and uh, attempt only those which you are confident, like. Uh, uh, you think like okay this I know at least 60 percent I know this so maybe this might be the answer so like uh, for that kind of question you answer and uh, for those which you are not confident you better skip for uh, later revision okay and um, if ever you come across any time consuming question like say it's taking some time uh, calculation something like aptitude questions then better to skip that question uh, in the beginning. Better you just take, uh, you just keep that question aside so that you can verify that later. And um, you know you will be given one hour time. I mean, uh, 60 minutes. Uh, you will be getting 60 minutes time. So for the first 45 to 50 minutes, 
uh, you tend you try to cover all the questions you try to go through all the questions and attempt as many as possible so in the last 10 minutes you are saying you uh, again revise the questions and go through the questions that you have not attempted you or uh, that questions which you have a uh, little bit doubt so these questions you can cover up in the last 10 minutes and the questions which you have not attempted uh, for the time taking questions you can attempt in the 10 minutes so plan like for 50 minutes uh, the first 50 minutes uh, you will be going through all the questions then uh, in the next 10 minutes you will be uh, covering all the uh, you will be revising all the questions so it's like for every one minute one question okay and some questions uh, may not take one minute so like uh, if say they ask uh, who is the author of this book then you can uh, uh, momentarily strike your thought and you can write the answer so maybe an approximately one minute for one question and the rest um, for those who, which are time taking maybe two minutes you can extend that so overall this is the broad idea that I wanted to share with you uh, as a final tip and uh, maybe by taking care of uh, things in this manner uh, I mean in this uh, strategic manner like uh, first certain part B then go for mandatory questions I mean in the case of part B, part B uh, uh, section and uh, uh, in part A section uh, take the uh, most uh, I mean convenient questions for you and uh, spare time for the first 15 minutes for the uh, overall scanning of the question and then the last minute to revise the question and to re-answer re your question so these tips I hope will be helping you and um, I hope will uh, provide you good marks uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and make sure that part B 50 marks question you will be taking as the first option uh, coming to the second hour right so hope my blog helped you and uh, you got many inputs from my blog and uh, I think my videos also helped you a lot and uh, this video is going to be last but one video and uh, I will be coming up with the uh, next video on uh, portfolio preparation in the next month uh, maybe in the next month and uh, because it's not required right now so hope to see you uh, later and uh, wish you all the best thank you